I just said that if I max out a credit card, I'm going to lose 150 points just like that. But then earlier, I said it's about 125 points. How is that possible? Why did I say you're going to lose 150 points when it's only 125 points available? Because it's a credit card. See, 30% of your credit score has to do with balances owed. But if it is balances owed on a credit card, there's other things in the algorithm that will lower your credit score when you max out that card. It all depends on what scorecard you're in. So a good rule of thumb is if you max out a credit card, figure on losing 100 to 150 points. Plain and simple. If you max out a credit card and go over 5% utilization rate, you're going to lose 100 to 150 points, plain and simple. So don't max out the credit card. If you do max out the credit card, all you have to do to prevent your score from dropping is pay off the credit card prior to the report date. When's the report date? generally two weeks before the due date. So if it's due on the 15th of the month, generally they're going to report it to the credit bureaus two weeks before around the first of the month. So if you max out the credit card and then you pay it off on the due date, FICO doesn't know that it was paid off because the bank reported it to the credit bureaus on the report date, and then you paid it off two weeks later on the due date. So if you're gonna max out the credit cards to get the points and the other benefits, or you're just using the credit card for business expenses or personal, pay it off early. Now, where can you find the report date? Two places. Number one, it's on your statement. So if you get electronic statements, you log in, you pull up, you download the statement or you view it online and it says statement date. That's the report date, the day after the statement date. So if it say statement date, February 28th, then you know the report date's going to be March 1st and the due date is most likely March 15th. The second place that you can find the report date is inside creditmojo.com or on your credit report. Underneath the account number and the name is a little column or a row that says date reported. That's the date that they reported it last time to the credit bureau. So if you look on your credit mojo, it's gonna say date reported. There's gonna be generally two dates. Equifax is usually different than TransUnion and Experian. So I generally recommend you look at the date for TransUnion and Experian. It most likely matches. And then Equifax is off doing their own thing. You need to have your credit card paid off the day before they report it to the credit bureaus or at least paid down. Now, if you miss it, it's not a big deal. You just make your payments in the following month, it'll fix itself. It's only a problem that if you're getting ready to apply for credit in the next 30 days and you want the current balance to show accurately. So 30% of your credit score has to do with balances owed, but really it could be as much as 40 to 50% of your credit score if it's balances owed on a credit card.